Hey guys, it's Sunny LaRue here. I am the professional martini drinking blogger. Welcome to today's vlog. It's a wet, wet, wet Friday uh, afternoon or mid noon. Well, not even noon, it's still morning. It's about 11.30. It's January ooh, 29th, I think it is. Yes, 2021. Anyway, um, yeah, today's very wet. And uh, I'm not complaining, but I am hot. So I'm going to turn on the air a little bit because I'm sweating. Um, so I dropped my sister off at the big blue box and I got me some Starbucks. And um, so I'm on my way home, I guess. But I am hungry. I was going to go and get me a burrito from my favorite uh, breakfast burrito place. But the line is long. And let me flip you around. So you it's raining. So I don't want to be stuck out in the rain. And so I'm going to go to this other place over here. Get me a breakfast burrito. And then I'm going to head home because I have a lot of work to do. Um, I'm sorry guys, but follow Friday. Today I won't be able to post. Because I have to organize it. There's like over a hundred bloggers I want to introduce you guys to. But um, I need to organize it and put it in alphabetical order. So I know, you know, if I'm sharing something, I'm not sharing the same thing over and over. Because I want, you know, all hundred people get, you know, props. And these bloggers and writers and word, wizards of words are just incredible people. And so I think that they deserve to, to be recognized for their incredible work that they've done thus far. So um, instead of doing today, I'm going to post some tomorrow. And then, of course, set it up for next Friday, follow Friday. Anyway, um, so guys, I finally got tenant. And as you guys know, if you've been following me, excuse me. Mm. If you guys been following me, as you guys know, I am a huge, huge Christopher Nolan fan. I love his work. The man is incredible. I, he, since he did Batman, I mean, he's just been incredible. But let me order something before I get into that. I'm hungry. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, give me one second, please. Okay, thank you. What comes in your uh, breakfast burrito? Eggs, cheese, and potatoes. Okay, um, can I get a bacon breakfast burrito with no eggs? Okay. And can I get salsa added inside? Just light salsa? That's it. So, thank you, egg burrito, no egg with salsa, it'll be A16. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. All right, guys, I gotta put my mask on. Oh, God. I am so hungry. And I just ate uh, um, Starbucks, uh, uh, what is it? Banana nut bread, but that is not gonna hold me over, so I need this. Oh, God. A little Michael Kors purse. Can you see that? I love this. I had this for a long time. They don't make this anymore. Um, this line is over. This is about seven years now. Seven years ago. And I'm regretting it because I wish I got the purse that goes with this. I just got the wallet. It's cute. And then this right here. Side, you can see that it has the glass thing, but yeah, see. And then I usually put my keys on it, but um, no, <laughs> but that, yeah, I have to show you guys my Michael Kors collection, I love it. In fact, I should go and see if I can buy another wallet, okay. 
Thank you. Oh, I love your nails. Oh, thank you. Like They're pretty. They have the best pineapple shakes here, too. Okay. Oh, keep it. Oh, thank you. Mm -hmm. Are there any ketchup or salsa? Uh, no, just the salsa in the... Yeah, salsa on the side. That's okay. fine. So yeah guys, I got tenant and I'll tell you about that in a minute. Oh God. And um, Christopher Nolan, he, to me, he can't do any wrong. But since he did the uh, Batman series, oh my God. And he really brought out the, the character of the Joker and Heath Ledger's incredible um, performance of that. I wish he would have lived long enough to see but that's how the Joker is, but um, the character Joker. The only other person other than Heath Ledger, and of course Joaquin uh, Phoenix's performance, that really captured the ex, ex the the uh, uh, embodies the character of the Joker is Mark Hamill when he was doing the voice for the Joker in the um, Batman animated series. Yes. Any salt, pepper, ketchup? No. Thank you. Have a good day. Okay, guys. But yeah, and so um, when he when he took on Batman, you know, I was like, oh, this is going to be great. So, and then he did Dunkirk, which was awesome. You know, I just that movie made me cry. And it introduced us to Harry Sykes. And I didn't know Harry can act, but he did a good job. And oh, I gotta get gas. So let me do that while I'm here. Let me get gas. Of course, what a dick. <laughs> anyway. So, um, so I got Tenet finally, and I got to tell you, I am super duper uber, uber excited about this movie because I've been wanting to see it, and because of COVID, um, it wasn't released in the theater, so, um, I had to buy it. <laughs> he didn't want to release it on HBO. But let me get some gas, and then I'll tell you all about Tenet. All right, guys, we're getting gas right now. Done. I have the liquid gold right here. <laughs> I have another one over there. We have hand sanitizers everywhere, guys. Everywhere, 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 everywhere. Everywhere. Hmm. Give me a second. Okay. They have everywhere. Uh. Okay, my favorite bass player. My favorite crooner. <laughs> uh. It was so funny. 
uh, people are up in arms because of uh, these kids. They found they found that uh, they found out a way to make money on the what on the on, on the um on the stock market. And then these regulating and these rich people are like, what the heck? I mean, the kids got hip to the game. And these guys have been doing this shit for years. And now you want to punish somebody? Anyway, here's my fat $8 burrito. <laughs> you see that? $8, guys. So I don't know if I'm going to be able to eat it all. But I'm going to go pull over somewhere and eat my food because I'm hungry. <sighs> Okay, and then I'll tell you all about Tenant while I'm sitting here eating. Because you guys are going to wake up. Alrighty. The supermarket is packed today. <laughs> but I'm going to park right here and eat. Because I'm hungry. Kids got hit to the game. I'm getting hit to the game too. Yeah. All right, so I'm not much of an egg person. I'm not sure how to cut this in half. I'm going to gnaw on it. So, this is my lunch, and it's my dinner. <laughs> All right, guys. Let's see. Mm. Keto. Mm -mm -mm -mm. But, it's so good. Mmm. 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 Mm. 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 Salsa is spicy. I love it. Not overbearing spicy, but spicy nonetheless. It gives a kick. How do I do sitting here watching me eat? <laughs> anyway. I'm mm. sure you guys like one. Let me close, bro. Mm. I got my water. Caramel macchiato. Burrito. Okay, let me show you again. All right. So as I was saying, um, let's talk about tenant. Mm. Mm -mm. I'm dripping. <laughs> oh shoot. I'll put some napkins under here. You know that this is a good ass burrito when it's dripping. So, um, if you ever seen the movie Inception uh, with Leonardo DiCaprio, I hope I'm saying his name right. I always butcher his name. Great actor, though. He's really good at acting. Um, so that hat, Leo, I had Tom Hardy in it, Cillian Murphy. Elliot Page, um, I'm forgetting, a whole bunch of well-known actors and child actors that 
trans um, uh, transcribed to the to the adult world, I guess uh, you can say. But um, the the kid from Third Walk from the Sun, he was in, and he was actually I, why can't I think of his name right now? He was really good in it. He did fifty fifty. Um, really good, 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 good act. I mean, that guy is crazy talented. Um, was no Henry Thomas wasn't in it. It was the one that played Luca. I forgot his name too. But all of them were in there, and it was a great movie. And um, it was so good that even South Park spooked it, but kind of um, copy, copy copy some of the stuff that they weren't supposed to do and they apologize and all this it was a big deal back then mm. so if you saw Inception Tenet is kind of like that and with both Tenet and Inception you really 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 have to pay attention because there's layers of storylines on top of storylines on top of storylines so and maybe four or five scenes, you got four or five different storylines going on all, all at the same time. But um, it's related to telling the story. Mm. So, ooh. Oh, it's spicy. Mmm. <laughs> so, with Tenet... It's the same thing. So all I can say without giving away this, you know, spoiling anything or giving away the storyline is that there's time travel involved in the movie. And um, there's levels of time travel, like with Inception. Oh, hold on a second, guys. I got to drink something. So, I'm not spilling my water. What's wrong with me today, guys? I'm, I'm all over the goddamn place today. Anyway. Um, so, um, like with Inception, they have uh, all these storylines all in within a matter of two or three scenes. And it all involves time travel. So... Kenneth Branagh, who's the antagonist, is he the antagonist? No, he's not. He's a villain. No, no, the antagonist, yes. Is enwebbed in trying to get something that will help him control the future. So he has part of this thing, but not all of it acquired he acquired part of this whatever uh, I don't want to give too much away but acquire this part to a machine that helps him control the future mm. So he uses this in the future to, you know, try to get things. So his wife, she, now she's awesome. She's, a, I forgot her name too, and I'm sorry. Um, she played in um, um, The Man From U.N.C.L.E. And if you, uh, she played the villain. <laughs> And she was just so good in that movie. That's another movie that I enjoyed. And I wish that they would do uh, more of the series for that. I wish they would have done more. Like 007. They should have done The Man for Un from Uncle more and more. That's with um, Henry Cavill and Army Hammer. And I forgot the other lady. But it was. it's based on the um, TV show of the same name and I always love that show and um so she 
she was a villain in The Man from Mako. And then here, I you know, you can't really tell if she's a victim or a villain or what really is going on with her. But she's essential to the storyline because through her, all of this stuff starts to come together and fall apart. And basically, she just wants out, but her husband, Ken and Brianna, used her to get this weapon and to lure in our protagonist into this trap. So anyway, towards the end, this big epic beatdown fight, um, oh, this is so good, <laughs> spicy though. <laughs> I should have just left the bacon out. But anyway, so this big epic um, climax of the movie reveals everything. And so it was really good. And the special effects are just enough to where it complements the story but not overbearing like for example um um transformers i'm sorry michael Bay, but i'm gonna be truthfully honest with you all those transformer movies could have been done a hell of a lot better they could have made it less comic-y um and it seems like every scene they were just blowing up everything just blowing up blowing up blowing up blowing up for no apparent reason characters were introduced that we really didn't know anything about for no and they just introduced them for no apparent reason and they were giving characters in the transformers uh series you know autobots that we even never even heard of or um decepticons that we never even heard of so that's why that move those movies weren't really all that great because the storyline really sucked and instead of focusing on the storyline and then adding special effects to complement that, they were just throwing in special effects and just they figure, well, fuck, let's just blow something up. And then that would, you know, would, to no rhyme and reason. But uh, you don't get that with Tenet. This this movie is strong. I mean, it's it's one of Christopher Nolan's best movies that he's ever made. And I thought Dunkirk was one of his best work. Tenet is one of his best work and now I understand why he's fighting not to have his stuff released on HBO Max and uh, all this stuff and wants it into the movie theater because this movie is very powerful guys it's really powerful and if you're not paying attention you can you can't just get up and go get a burrito and then come back and try to pick up where you left off because um, it's so many layers to this movie, you have to watch it. So that was that was a surprise, and I was so happy that I finally got to see it. And um, so far now, I've seen it like 12 times, and every time I watch it, there's something new that I missed before that pops up, and it's like, oh my god, I didn't even see that. Oh my god! And then it, it makes the it brings the storyline full circle, and then you're like, oh, now I understand why that is happening in that scene, and why this is going on in that scene and you know just the different layers and Christopher Nolan is a master masterful at doing stuff like that the guy is just insanely incredible his writing is beautiful um, his direction is beautiful and what he brings to the table um, if you're not a fan I don't know what to say to you <laughs> I really honestly don't um, but if you really don't know who Christopher Nolan is, I would say, of course, watch um, the Batman series the, um, with, with um, um, gosh, Christian Bale as Batman, those series, watch that. And then watch Dunkirk, because then you'll, you'll, you'll see um, how good his, his movies are.